Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Life Skills FYI. Life Skills FYI provides a set of core adult capabilities to manage work, family, and relationships successfully. It's designed to help build the skills adults need for life. Life Skills FYI teaches skills of planning, awareness, focus, self-control, and flexibility. They are daily living skills to promote successful independent living, skills that every adult should know who were never taught in school. Life Skills FYI premieres on Thursdays at 10 a.m. on our My Virtual Academy Facebook page. Today, we are going to talk about how to deal with rejection. So, yay you, hooray. You took a risk and put yourself out there. But after all of that emotional effort, it didn't go as you planned. And now you're feeling just a bit wounded. Everyone deals with rejection at one point or another. So it's no secret that rejection does hurt. Whatever business we start, serious relationship we pursue, or personal risk we take, the risk of a defeating no looms very large over all of our actions. The fear of rejection is completely normal. And the good news is that plenty of happy, successful people have faced rejection and come out the better for it. So today I'd like to share a few tips on how to cope with rejection in a healthy way. So let's start by talking about what exactly is rejection? We feel rejected when we're not included, accepted, or approved of. Rejection involves the loss of something we had or desired, and it causes us to feel unwanted and not good enough. Examples include a job that you applied for and didn't get, or a breakup in a relationship, or being ghosted by a friend, or not being invited to a social event and then seeing all of your friends post about it on social media. These are examples of rejection. So what do you do? The first thing you need to do is acknowledge your feelings. When you put on a brave face and say things like, I didn't want that job anyway, it might make you feel better for a minute, but trying to convince yourself or those around you that you don't care and won't kill and it won't hurt your bruised ego over the long term, that doesn't work out. What you have to do is work through your uncomfortable feelings. Don't mask and hide or try to avoid them. Take some time to identify how you're really feeling during this time. Put a name on those feelings. You might feel embarrassed, sad, disappointed, worried, or even anxious. You probably will feel a mixture of all of these emotions. Just naming them can go a long way towards helping you to make sense of what's going on with you right now. Once you face your feelings, you can then start to heal from what you've experienced. Next, you should give yourself a reality check. When you get rejected, your inner voice will likely exaggerate what this means for you. It might tell you things that, like getting turned down for a date means that you're an ugly person or unlikable. Or if you get rejected for a promotion, your inner voice might tell you things like you're not smart enough or that you aren't a good employee. As your brain looks for those underlying meanings, it will also probably make some catastroph catastrophic predictions. You might start thinking that you'll never find someone who likes you or that you won't ever get a better job. But I'm here to tell you, do not believe those inner voices. Your intense emotions will cause those irrational thoughts. 
but it doesn't make it true. So give yourself a reality check. Step back and ask yourself whether or not this rejection really means all of those things that you're thinking. Next, you need to celebrate your courage. Risking rejection takes courage. There is no glory in saying that you've never been turned down for something. In fact, it might even mean that you're not taking big enough risk. If you aren't getting rejected, you're, you, you, know, you likely aren't striving towards your greatest potential. Rejection serves as proof that you have pushed yourself past your limits and try to expand your horizon. So celebrate the fact that you stepped outside your comfort zone. Even though rejection stings, it shows that you're trying to live big and bold and you're courageous. So go ahead and honor yourself for having the courage to even try to begin with. Next, you need to practice self-compassion. You might find that you're harder on yourself for being rejected. You might think you were stupid or, you know, for even trying to do things. Or you might tell yourself that you're a loser, but believing those kinds of thoughts will only make things worse. You don't have to listen to your inner critic. That mean voice that is speaking those horrible things to you, shut it off. Shut those thoughts down. Instead, you can respond with some self-compassion. Ask yourself, what would I tell my friend who didn't get that job they really wanted? Or what would I say to my friend who just got ghosted by someone that they were really interested in? You'd probably have something really kind to say to them to try and ease them in their time of pain and discomfort. Try giving yourself those same kind words. Even if you made a mistake or even if you failed at something, give yourself some self-compassion. That is the key thing that you're going to need and help you move to the next step and help you to recover quickly the next time you experience rejection. Next, don't let rejection define who you are. Don't conclude that something is wrong with you if you experience rejection. Remember that it's only one person's opinion. You don't have to let one person's opinion define who you are. Remind yourself that there are plenty of other people out there with many other opinions. Next, learn from your experiences. Ask yourself, what could you learn from being rejected? If nothing else, you might learn that you're stronger than you think. Give yourself some time to recover. You don't have to put yourself out there immediately behind being rejected from something. Give yourself some time to recover, but use the pain you experience as an opportunity to learn and to grow so that you can move forward with more confidence. Next, think about your best comeback story. This is one of my favorite strategies. Think about a time when you were rejected and it ultimately turned out to be a blessing in disguise or it led to one of your best comeback stories ever. Maybe you got rejected for a job, but then later on found out that the company closed a few months later. Or maybe you got rejected by a love interest, but that gave you an opportunity to later meet someone special who turned out to be the love of your life. No one likes being rejected, but a healthier way to deal with rejection is to view it as an opportunity to grow. And if you embrace these learning experiences, then there will always be something better coming your way.
Well, friends, that is all my time for today. Thanks so much for tuning in to Life Skills FYI. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Again, my name is Tony Kirton. My number is 586-842-0558. That's 586-842-0558. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next time on Life Skills FYI. And always remember to adult responsibly.